Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I have a bit of a comparison video. I was at a shopping center recently, mainly to go to Zara and smell a bunch of those fragrances, but I happened to pop into Mecca. And for those of you who don't know, Mecca is kind of like the Sephora of Australia, even though we also have Sephora. And I came across this brand, Coraz, I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. It's a Greek brand. I was spraying a few of their fragrances and I sprayed one of them and I was like, whoa. That heady jasmine, it smells so familiar. I want to compare this to Alien. Just a disclaimer, the Alien that I have is the newest formulation. I picked up the 10 mil of this scent from Cora's. It's called Cashmere Kumquat. This one's in a roller ball, which I don't love. I think I've mentioned before that the roller balls are a bit gross. I don't really like using them because they tend to get contaminated. And over time, then I see like little floaties in them and it's really gross. I thought that I would do a bit of a first application comparison and then a bit of a wear comparison. So maybe an hour, two hours, you know, I'll wait and compare them again. The Cora's one is an eau de toilette. I already tested it and it doesn't last as long. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to apply Cora's on my left arm here, and I'm just gonna describe the scent to you. The top notes are kumquat, mandarin orange, and orange. Middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and almond. Base notes are cashmere wood, vanilla, and cedar. So I'm just going to apply this here. So off the top, very heavy jasmine, very, very heavy jasmine, very similar to Alien. Trying not to compare it just, just yet. V a, very fruity though, a lot more citrusy fruitness. I do smell the woodiness and a little bit of that vanilla, but that vanilla really, again, it's not too strong. I do get a little bit of the almond, but it's not... Again, it's not very strong, and I think it actually works really well with kind of the tartness of the citrus fruits and the top notes. Absolutely beautiful. I really, really love this one, and I have I have been wearing it a bit. Although I didn't want to wear it too much, I wanted to kind of wait until filming this video to really dive into it. So as it's wearing down, yeah, it's getting more woody, but it's it's... I'm already smelling that that, ci that citrusy, that tart fruitiness, that citrus note is kind of, it's lingering. It's not like poof, gone. It's so yummy, I love it. It's not really gourmand, but it's yummy. Okay, I'm gonna spray Alien on my right arm. I'm just gonna do one spray. I'm in a very small room, so I also don't wanna choke. So if I'm comparing, again, this is the newer formulation of Alien. Obviously there's none of that fruitiness. So the notes listed for Alien are very simple. It's just Jasmine, Kashmirin, and Amber. This, I would say Alien is that Jasmine is more prominent. It's more of a full bodied Jasmine, more complex, more, photorealistic of a jasmine. And again, it doesn't have that citrusy fruitiness. <sighs> it's so funny. I'll, I'll, I smell alien and then I go back to smell the Cora's one and it's like, I can hardly smell it. That's just goes to show you how, and I only sprayed it, I sprayed alien one time on my arm and it's already, <laughs> it's already so much more overwhelming. I would say when you smell them next to each other, they're really not super comparable. It's just the the cashmere kumquat, it just has so much more of that fruitiness. Now that it's drying down, that jasmine is not as strong. I'm actually going to try putting it on a tester. I'm just curious to see how it smells. I don't think I've actually um, tested it on a paper strip before. I've only tested it on my skin. I find that sometimes it's a bit easier to smell on, on a tester. When you smell them side by side, it's really just that the jasmine's not as strong. Like Alien just beats it in that way. But the Alien jasmine is colder. It's just colder, it's not as warm. It's not as uplifting and bright and fruity. Whereas the Cora's one is more fruity. It's more summery. And the Jasmine is, when compared to Alien, doesn't take a backseat. I won't say that. It's still very prominent, but it's married in more nicely. It's, it's in the Cora's one, the Jasmine is holding hands with the orange and the kumquat. It's holding hands. In the Alien, 
the Jasmine is like, get the F out of the way. I'm leading the pack way, way stronger. But again, the Cora's is eau de toilette and I'm just gonna see how these wear. I'm going to come back in maybe an hour or so. So right now it is 1.33 um, and I'll come back in about an hour and see how they've worn. All right, so I am back. It is um, 3.42 right now. Sorry, I got a little bit carried away playing Baldur's Gate, my bad. How's it smelling now? Well, the chorus one, definitely not as strong. It's toned down a lot. In fact, a lot of what I get is fruity and vanilla woody. So I don't really smell a lot of that white floral on the chorus one. And as for Alien, it's still that prominent jasmine. <laughs> Another thing I was thinking too, and I don't know why I didn't think to test this, but I recently got another dupe, I guess you could say, of Alien from Zara. So I'm going to grab that one quickly. This, So the one I mentioned from Zara is called Splendid Bronze. Now I did a video on this one, or I included this one in a video three weeks ago or something like that, where I compared a bunch of Zara fragrances to designer fragrances. To be honest, if I, I'm going to spray this one here, I'm just going to spray it on my arm. I will say I already know this because I've used Splendid Bronze a few times since I've purchased it. This one has like really good longevity on clothing. So I've actually, I've sprayed this during the day. I'll spray it, you just, just here on my clothes and like multiple days later, gone back to wear that same shirt and it's still so strong. This one smells closer to, mm, this one has a lot more of that orange, like I smell a lot more of that orange blossom in the Splendid Bronze than the Jasmine. If I were to compare this and Cora's, I would say that if you want to get something similar to Alien, I would say I would pick Splendid Bronze for a couple of reasons. One, I already know that this lasts like a mother, like this will last on clothing. The projection that you get from it on clothing smells more similar to Alien than the Cora's one does. Now, I don't have the spray bottle of this one, so I'm not sure if that's, you know, affecting how it's wearing on me. But as far as the dry down, it kind of loses a lot of that white floral and becomes very orangey, woody vanilla which is beautiful and it smells lovely. It doesn't have as much of that white floral jasmine as Alien does. So as far as a dupe, maybe not, but maybe it's similar. It's just more fruity. It's got that vanilla and really beautiful woodiness on the dry down and it doesn't last as long. Depends on if you're okay with that. I mean, if you just get the roller ball like I did, you can just reapply it whenever you need to if you're out on the go whatever by the way i love the roller balls that cora's does they're really thick like the glass is really thick and heavy it kind of it feels very luxurious i think if i was going for something more similar to alien i would probably pick splendid bronze doesn't necessarily mean i like it more but it has that more pungent white floral jasmine that is similar to alien and i think i mentioned this in that zara video there are a few differences with this one versus Alien. And I think I called it like a daytime cousin of Alien or something like that. I can't remember the exact phrase that I used. So whether or not you want to call it a dupe, maybe you decide that one, but I think it's similar enough to say it's a cousin of Alien. Um, and to me, they were definitely trying to get a similar vibe. I mean, obviously we know Zara to be doing that a lot, duping um, popular designer fragrances. I hope that helps. I figured I would just do a, a comparison video because when I smelled this, like I mentioned, I smelled this in Mecca and was like, whoa, that Jasmine's really strong. I wonder if people are comparing it to Alien. Saw that people were comparing it to Alien and I really wanted to do a sit down and compare them side by side and let you guys know what my findings were and also threw in a little splendid bronze in there which i really like and i like wearing it during the day instead of my alien yeah i mean i'm still i'm still gonna wear this and i think actually it's a good time of year for me to have this because i've really been looking for some more fruity fruity summer fragrances weather's really starting to heat up now i mean i think it's like 30 degrees today i don't know i'm just in the mood for those nice fresh i mean this isn't fresh i'm just really in the mood for those more summery fragrances i'm ready i'm ready for them bring them on i think this suits that maybe like 
nighttime summer. I would say this is like a nighttime summer. Like you're going out to, you're going out to a nice bar or restaurant close to the beach or something on a summer night. That's probably when I would wear this one. And then I can just pop it in my bag, reapply it if I need to. Uh, the juice just flung everywhere. So don't flail it around with the lid off, maybe. I just got all over my hand. Smells good. But yeah, I hope this has some value to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Don't say toodles. Toodaloo. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. Do not say that. It's hot. Okay, bye.